Hey YouTube, and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, it's been a good year that uh, I've owned this, a little bit over a year. I'd say I've been using it a good, pretty good year. Um, and I did a six month video on this, and uh, said I'd come back and do a year video after I'd used it for another six. Well, quite honestly, I haven't used it a ton the last few couple months. Uh, both, I've been doing some other things, uh, getting some other things done, and uh, getting behind on videos, so I'm hoping I can keep the videos rolling here. If for some reason my videos stop for a little while, don't think I'm gone, I just need to get some more edited and up. But besides that, we're here for the lift here. Good year of pretty much using this lift for a good year. Um, lightly the last six months probably, since I did that last video, I've I've had a car in here probably uh, at least once or twice a month during that time, but not near as much as I had been using it at first. I was kind of backlogged on working on some of my cars because I was waiting for my lift, so I think I just had quite a few more the first six months. But regardless, uh, here we are. And you might notice it's up a little ways off the ground. And uh, that is because I'm working on my Explorer here. And uh, when you have a rig on this, it does say not to leave it where you leave the weight on these. Something I noticed after a couple times of using it is when it's all the way down with a car on it especially, this is still very tight. Um, it is not as tight as a car just sitting on it without it being on the brakes which you don't really ever want to do but it's tighter than i would say it should be um so whenever i am done for the day and i still have a car on the lift here i go ahead and lift it up for the first one here so i'll leave it on this this first click here and that way when i take the tension off See, I can move this a lot. There's no tension on that anymore. So when I'm storing a car inside the garage, that's what I'll do. Also in that video, I talked about having a video that was hopefully going to come up um, of the modifications and things that are mods and the ways I was going to use this. And quite honestly, uh, some of that I need to reshoot because I had a bad SD card kind of messed up some of my videos. Um, also some of them just they just didn't work out the way I planned so I'm still working on that one it will be coming out at some point but yet again uh, life always gets in the way and if I don't have to work on something I always have something else that I need to do um, so there's just a lot of things going on that I just haven't been able to get out here and do a whole lot of filming on much of anything or working on much of anything um, unfortunately, but um, I'm still extremely happy with my lift. I would buy this over and over again if I, for some reason, needed to. Um, but I'm, I'm super happy with it. I think the quality is, is really good. I think the safety is really good. I did have the one problem with the um, Pulley going bad on me, but they they sent me a new one, and I'm happy with it. Um, as far as that, if I have problems down the road, you'll know. And if I have any more problems with those pulleys, I might upgrade them um, to something different. But uh, they I don't think they'll be that expensive or that hard to find. So, um, but right now, every couple months, I go through and I check everything. Pretty much every time I have it over my head, I'm looking at stuff, just making sure everything's tight and right, which you should be doing anyway. Um, at least every every few months you should do that. And then every six months you should just go through and, and just nut and bolt everything, check everything, make sure everything's aligned, whatever you need to do um, to feel safe for you. I'm not going to change the fluid in here. I said I might do that at six months again. I was happy I did it at six months. In fact, I might go, if I just bought this lift after about three or four months, if you're using it, like I was using it pretty much daily almost for the first three or four, for the first six months, at the very least once a week. Um, and I would, after about three months of that kind of use, 
probably go ahead and put new fluid in, dump this out, clean it out, put new fluid in like I did in that six month video. Um, you could probably wait till six months and be okay, but it just really depends. You know, that's that's up to you to figure that out. But I have looked now underneath here, and I'm not seeing a buildup of grit or black stuff down here like I saw before uh, at the six month mark. I'm not seeing that. And like I said, I've only used this in the last six months. I've probably used it. maybe six or eight times i really have not used it a ton this this last few months um so i'm not going to change the fluid the fluid's fairly fa not super expensive but fairly expensive and i don't think it needs done so that yet again is up to you to decide now i'll show you a couple of the modification i've done since i have not done that video a um, couple things to that i think you should do fairly quickly uh for this so you'll notice that's there and my car is there so on top of this i went to arbor freight and bought some of these they, they, they come in these tread they're stair treads that stick on and i clean that up really good i cut one in half and used two full ones here and that and stuck those onto there and i've had them there from almost the beginning i can't remember exactly when i did this but i've had them on there for for a lot of time because i planned on trying this and using this this way and i'll show you what i do now this is where i say if you do anything i do and you hurt yourself i'm not responsible but i actually can sit here and work underneath my hood very easily um, gives me all kinds of access to stuff up here that i can do um, so i kind of like that now i have noticed a couple times when i went to lean forward if this isn't all the way butted up against the back here, this will roll on you a little bit because my weight is not enough, surprisingly, to uh, make the brakes lock out on this. So, um, so that is something you do need to be aware of if you choose to do this. Yet again, if you choose to, you are responsible for your own safety. But also if I have a car further back, now I can't do that with my truck because this is, I could go a little bit further back with this rig uh, but most of my like my jeep and this and anything fairly short i could do but if obviously if it's too long unless you have it on the ground like i have it now i guess with my truck i could park my truck off the back and use it but um if i need to get further back i can pump this up and lift this up so that i can get further higher up as well uh, if you watch my jeep video when i did the welding on the top of the roof um I use this a lot for that. Something else I would do, you can pick this up fairly cheap off Amazon. Uh, that black and yellow stripe, uh, that is not, does not come with the machine. And I also put some on these right here. And the reason I would say to do that is because if you're like me and you have this set just at the right height, I know not to run into it, but my rest of my family is a bit shorter than me. And, uh, my mom came in one day and cacked her head right on that right there and quite honestly you're not supposed to have it up there or you're not really supposed to leave these on here but i rarely take them off i find that they're more out of the way there than anywhere else and uh i'm used to being around a garage so i kind of you know didn't worry about hitting my head but now uh, that i've had a family member hit their head on it uh i would say if you're like me and uh or if you're like my family and you're not used to this kind of stuff uh, i would put some some of that on there as well uh as far as a one year video i am super super happy um i can't tell you every time i walk in my garage how excited i am that i have this this just puts a smile on my face every time i walk in the garage knowing that i am not gonna have to crawl up off of that floor and maybe lay there for a while because i realize i'm fat and i need to lose weight but for those of you that don't know i have a bum leg and it it can kind of go out to where it doesn't want to work every now and then and there's been a few times where I've uh, not been able to get up off the ground for a little while until it decides it's okay for me to get up. 
and it's really cold on the ground right now, especially this time of year. That really sucks. Um, other things, uh, you know, my back, the fact that I'm overweight, all those things add up to me getting up and down off the ground working on my cars is just not working for me anymore. Uh, in fact, when I decided I was buying this, or a lift for my garage, uh, I went to get up off the ground and my leg gave out and I went head first in the concrete and smacked my head pretty hard. Um, and that's when I decided that was it. It was either I quit working on cars uh, or I needed to get a lift. Uh, I, it, it was getting to a point where it was dangerous. So for all of you that moan and, and cry that, you know, oh, you have all kinds of money and bought that, I saved up for over a year and all my YouTube money pretty much went to this right here. Um, so, and a few other little things here and there. I do not make a ton of money off of YouTube regardless of what anybody says. Um, and I did not have this given to me no matter what anybody says. I bought this with my own money. And yet again, like I said, they helped me with the shipping, which was awesome. Um, but I am very ecstatic with this. I'm really happy with this. Uh, and I'm excited every time I see it in my garage that I have it here to, to use. Um, and there's nothing that I can do on there, or that, I, that you can't do on your car that I can do on this. With a, a pair of jack stands and a good jack, you can do anything that I can do on this thing. You're just going to be doing it on the ground. That is the only difference. Uh, and I spent 46 years, 47 years doing that, working on my back underneath cars. Yes, I worked in a couple shops that had lifts, but usually when they, I wasn't able to use the lift because um, I was usually a low man on the totem pole or in school we didn't have a lot of lift type things. Most of the stuff we did was just on the ground. So. Um, I've not had a bunch of lifts in my life, so most of my work I've done under cars and around cars has been on my back on the ground. So, uh, regardless, there's your reasons. If you need reasons for me to have this, there you go. Otherwise, I don't really care. Um, I, I'm just excited that I have it. I'm really happy with it. I appreciate that I have it. and. Uh, for the price, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat, and I would buy this one at the same time. I would, if I had, if I could take this back and go get any other one, I would still grab this one because for the price and quality that's here, uh, you just you can't beat it. Um, I don't know. I've been told that there's other ones that are very similar to this, probably made in the same factory. I don't know, um, but that's what other people have said. Um, but I will say the service at this place, I have had zero problems with service. So um, be as you may, service is a, is a big deal to me. So um, even if it is the same outfit or the same type of lift, um, I know this one is quality. I know the service with this one comes with it. Um, so that, that's another big aspect of why I would buy this one all over again. Um, if I had to choose to do it again um, and, and not regret it a bit. I don't regret buying this at all. So take that as you will. That's my one year review slash whatever of this lift. I know it wasn't super informative about the lift and yet again I have not used it a ton. That is something with a homeowner. You're going to have times where you use it and times where you don't. If it sat for quite a while it, it, for any interval, I would say go through, make sure everything is all hunky-dory as well, uh, even if you haven't used it. I would still check and double check everything uh, before you start climbing under stuff like this with umpteen thousand pound vehicles on them. That's just a, a genuine safety thing. And another thing, make sure that your concrete pad is the correct thickness. Now, I didn't have this tested or checked, but I have cut out pieces in another part uh, over when I was working on my mom's place. I have videos on that um, in the bathroom area and that concrete is the same slab as this concrete and it was more than thick enough. It was it was stupid. It was like eight inches thick. It was quite thick. So 
Anyways, uh, so I'm not too worried about it, but you should definitely check those kind of things out before you start looking at buying these kind of deals. All right, thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and obviously master of none. You all have a good one.